Hey guys, welcome back to Channel of George. So I decided to do a video when it's windy and cold and uh, drizzling. Uh, unfortunately, the design is a failure and I never did my research. I never looked at a truck to get an idea on how things work. And after installing everything and not being able to get the gym poles to lift, even after adding 14 inches of uh, extra height over there, um, I ended up finding out that this pulley it's uh basically riding along the center of the end of the gym poles here the, the the pivot point let's say and this cable it's basically riding somewhere in the middle to the bottom half of the gym poles which means it actually puts a little bit of downward pressure and um before i only had a uh, had about six or eight inches of uh of lift on one of the poles and when I started pulling it back, this end actually touched the headache rack there, broke a weld, twisted that up there, twisted this, and um, there's not really much I can do to fix this, except uh, start um, start again with a setup that rides maybe about a foot and a half inward of the bed, but that's gonna it's gonna gonna make things difficult to load uh let's say a four by eight sheet of wood or metal back here because it's gonna be hitting on there and the other option i have would it be get something like this square tube in here and um, slide it over this two inch uh hitch there put a pipe upwards and put the pulley over here and that'll give it enough uh, clearance and height but it's gonna look all uh, all MacGyver and I wouldn't feel comfortable driving around town with that, you know So the gym pole truck for right now is gonna be a uh, Something I'm gonna move back and I'll see maybe I can use the gym poles on a trailer or something, but That's about it on this update really. I mean, there's not much I can do and um, it's basically a complete failure so learn from my mistakes and do your research and uh, Good luck so, see you on the next video, guys, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.